may know him from uh, such shows as Mamma Mia. You may have seen him uh, not ice skating in Canada, or you've seen him in the No Silla Castaways chat rooms. But we are now talking to Shai Yamini uh, on behalf of PAI Technologies. How are you doing today, Shai? I'm great. Thank you, Alison. So good to see you. I will not ask you to break into, uh, oh, what a beautiful morning. <laughs> but, uh, you know, sometimes that happens when we talk. Yeah, no singing today. Yeah, all right. <laughs> so what are we looking at here at PAI Technologies today? Well, Pi Technology, we've got a brand new product. It's called PiBots. And it's an augmented reality interactive construction kit. Okay. <laughs> so basically what it means is we, um, we're creating robots that uh, children can interact with and learn how to code. Oh, I like that. I like where you're going. Yeah. So basically what we start off with is we build the robot first. So we've got a build mode right here. Yeah. So let's say we're going to build a little robot friend here called Nova. And so all this comes in the kit. We've got six different robots that we actually build in the game. So for the audio listeners, he's got a little robot on a platform here, but he's got one similar he's building on an iPad. Yes, so it shows in um, sort of a virtual world all the pieces that are required to build Nova. And then once it's done, it asks me to actually look at her and scan it, and it says, yep, I've built it correctly. So okay, so he built up the pieces rapidly, but uh, <laughs> imagine you were putting it together in the actual robot, and then he, he pointed the screen of the iPad at the robot and said, okay, you built it correctly. Exactly. So now that I built it, I can play? Now you've built it, now you can play. And the play is in augmented reality, and it creates this beautiful big world, as you can see in the TV behind me. And as you go through the gameplay, it teaches you different coding um, skills. Okay. So let me show you what the coding skills we've got available. And each robot actually has a different um, skill set. Oh, OK. It so, so it's connecting. So it says scanning. So he's got to connect it up to her again. Let me just connect this. Got to love live. Live demos with lots of interference. <laughs> the best kind of demo. So this is actually doing, being done via Bluetooth. So we've got quite a few Bluetooth devices right now. There we go. This it's like is the most challenging place on earth to do a live demo. Seriously. <laughs> oh, All right, looks like we're connected. So, now we've got this um, interface on the screen where we can do building blocks. So of it sort code. of looks like the way Scratch is designed, where it's got little blocks that you can connect together? Exactly. So let me say I want to use the motion sensor that's in the robot, and then say, when you see motion, I want you to spin to the left, go forward and back, and let's activate it. So Just hit play. Oh, he just put his hand in front of it, it was spin to the left, and then it went forward. And back. Oh, wow. And so we've got all the different type of things. We can um, control the lights, we can control movement. Oh, we the can make the eyes blink. The eyes can don't do blink, though, unfortunately. It's actually the body. The whole body. Oh, OK. Well, we'll go with the whole body blinking. <laughs> <laughs> but as I said, each robot has a different skill set. So some will play drums, some will move their tail. It all depends on that particular robot that you've built in the storyline of the game. What I like about this is it's combining a lot of different things. They're actually tactile, tactile building in, in a Lego-like environment. Exactly. So they're building things. They're having to use your imagination. Uh, but then they can use your imagination again in a tablet environment where the kids really want to be playing exactly. on a tablet. But then you're tricking them into learning programming. Exactly. And one good thing is because you've got all the pieces, you've got 130 pieces here to build the robots, but you don't have to build just those robots. You can build whatever you want and then go into the RV mode where I can actually just control it just like a remote control vehicle. Oh, and okay, so after you build your crazy uh, monstrosity, you can still drive it around. Exactly. Okay, but it won't know what skill sets it has because it's not one of the standard robots, right? It's not, but um, you know how to control the movements, you know how to control the lights, and so once you know those skill sets, you can make your own um, codes. Oh, you can, even with a, a monster robot you've built. Exactly. Oh, that is so cool. So uh, I was calling it PII, but it's Pi Technologies, mm -hmm. but it's spelled PAI, so now yes. you know how to spell it. Where would people go to find more? Uh, you can do uh, PAI.technology, and that's the website you'll be able to go there. 
and they've got quite a few different other educational uh, games and um, building construction kits that they can use. So are these available today? Uh, this one is available in spring this year and the other um, games and building construction kits are available already. Oh great, and about, what's the price point going to be on this? This will retail for $99.99. Okay, that's actually not bad when you compare it to some of the other high-tech stuff that's out there. Very cool. Yeah, exactly. Thank you, Shai. My pleasure. So good to see you. <laughs>